To make this simple, we used a sugar template to create a pre-populated CSV file for you to download. And to make sure you don't need to remember a long, ugly URL, we've made the link available via a bit.ly URL. To download the file, open your favorite browser and type bit.ly slash sugarusers in the URL and press enter to load the page. Then, to save the contents, press Ctrl S on your PC or Command S on your Mac to open the Save dialog window. Select Desktop as your location so we know where it is and click Save. You can always load the file in Excel to verify it's saved correctly. There should be five records. Let's get started by accessing the Users module. There's a trick to this one. You actually have to be an administrator to access user management. So, be sure to log in as a user with administrative privilege. Expand the User menu and click Admin. Then click the User Management link in the Users area to load the Users module. Hover over the Users module and click Import Users. In Step 1, we select the data source. And in this example, we're using the file we just downloaded, so the A File on My Computer Radio button is the correct setting, and we click Next. In step two, we're going to tell Sugar which file to import. Click the Choose File button, then select the sugarusers.csv file we just downloaded. The Create New Records Only Radio button should be selected, then click Next to let Sugar know you're ready to import. Step three confirms the file properties, like date, format, and currency, are set correctly. Because this information is provided by Sugar CRM using a Sugar template, we know that everything will line up as expected. But if you're using your own file, you can scroll to the right to verify everything lines up as it should, then click Next. Step 4 is the next to the last step, and in this step we confirm the fields in the file to be uploaded, match the fields in Sugar. Again, because this information is provided by Sugar CRM using a Sugar template, we know that the field mapping will line up as expected. I do want to point out that we added one additional field to this import file, the email address. You can see that Sugar has an email address field, so the mapping happened automatically. We can look at the row 1 email address to verify everything looks correct, then click Next. In the last step, we check for possible duplicates, and in this case we know there are only 5 records with no duplicates, so we click Import Now. In the View Import Results, you can see the 5 records were successfully imported. If there were a problem you didn't catch in the previous steps, Sugar gives you the ability to back out your import by clicking the Undo Import button. Click Exit to return to the users list. Note that the five users that were just added are shown at the top of the list. 